I think it's really important for people who are going to be hooking up because we're hooking up with people who don't necessarily know us. Some may not care as much about our pleasure. So it's really important to be assertive. First of all, to know what it is that you want sexually from that situation. What are the kinds of sex acts? Like, do you need oral sex? Do you need fingering? Do you need a toy? Do you need anal stimulation in combination with this or that? What positions work for you? What kind of setting works for you? So you need to know that. And then you need to, you kind of have to find a way to communicate that to your partner and, and assert these needs that you might have so that they can meet them. Because even if they want to meet them, they're not psychic. They don't know. And very often we don't have the language. We don't have easy communication around sexuality. So people are not going to ask. And when there's also that kind of uh, very typical human thing that we do when we don't know, when the situation is ambiguous we project our own desires to the other person. We think, well, if this works for me, it works for the other person. And unless we're told otherwise, we're just going to do that. So even yeah, even when people want to be or a good lover or don't want to be a bad lover, they might not know how to do that. So it's assertiveness, sexual assertiveness is, is important no matter what relationship people are in, but it's extra important in casual interactions because of that lack of familiarity. And I also want to really encourage people to try to try to bring in at least some amount of passion and intimacy in casual interactions. One of the things that I think are norms around what casual means is that there is no intimacy at all. Like there's this complete emotional distance and it's just the physical act of having sex in these hookups. And what we know from research is that when there's somewhat more closeness and intimacy and passion, everyone walks away from it feeling like this was a better experience, a more satisfying experience. And so I really want to encourage people for better hookups to have some amount of that passion and intimacy, they can be very casual. It doesn't have to extend beyond that hour or day or week long period. But while we're with our casual partners to try to give and connect with them as much as we can. Yeah, I think that's such an important point and great advice. And it's also true that one of the things that people are often looking for in casual sex is more than just sex. They also want an intimate piece that goes along with it. And I know Justin Garcia at the Kinsey Institute has done some work on this where he's found that most people want things that aren't casual from casual sex, right? So casual sex is kind of a misnomer in some ways in that it's not just about this, this act of pure physical pleasure. So don't be afraid to have a little intimacy in it. And it's okay if you want to cuddle afterwards and, you know, do all these other things, just get on the same page with your partner about, you know, what this is and what it isn't. 